create um, a private DNS a zone for our VNet because we want machines to have meaningful names. Now, when I spin my machine on, let's quickly have a look at our VMs. Let me go over down here and look at our VMs. Um, they may have meaningful names superficially, but when I click into it, for example, let's see if Azure gives me a good overview. And the name you see here is that one. It's a very long one, okay. Uh, <laughs> And of course, I'm not going to remember that. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to give myself a, a meaningful, better DNS name. So what I do, which is a provision Microsoft Azure has provided you and I, is to create your own private DNS. And so to do that, of course, you can go to all services. And uh, once I load up, I can go and type DNS, for example. That's what I get. Private DNS. So dns and as you know dns helps you to resolve um ip addresses to names and names to ip addresses and so it's like an address book it's easier for you to identify names but machines love uh, uh ip addresses you know numbers so i'm going to go down here and create my own private dns zone and of course it's going to be in the same resource group um, of course, next time choose a meaningful resource group so it takes care of all your locations. I started from East to US thinking of doing or uh, creating one VNet, but of course, it's, it's spun out to be many other VNets um, as you can see in my previous videos. But over here, I'm gonna call it uh, netort.com um, at my DNS name. So, machine name is gonna be a machine name.netort.com. And I can create virtual links to 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 link this pro DNS to my uh, VNet. So go tax. I don't want any tax. I'm not interested in tax over here. Um, it's pass validation. I'm gonna create my DNS. And once that's created, and it has created, the deployment is still underway. It's almost there. Let me go show you where the virtual links are. So. Uh, let's close all this um, Let's select East US production So once the DNS is ready, I'm gonna go ahead of course this DNS it's uh, the default Azure provides one but you can customize this one to have like if you have a server in this uh, vnet or any of the subnets they can be responsible for dns but practically uh, you don't need that because azure gives the privilege uh, to use azure dns and what have you so what you need to do is we're going to end up when the dns is ready and it's still doing it let's perhaps see if it's available uh, let me just go to private DNS zones and it's still running it's taking a while to build up but once it's built up I'll click into that and I'll link uh, that private DNS zone um, to um, private DNS zone to the VNets I want this to be applied to uh, so we may have to wait a little bit it takes a little while for this to build and here we are so we got our, our uh, netort.com and of course I click into that and you see virtual network links so virtual network links is how you can get this uh, to link to um, any of the available uh, virtual networks so like I said I wanted to go to East US production and I'll call it and I'll say DNS V link to East US broad so that's the name I'm choosing, but I can also type it in lowercase DNS VLink uh, East US Prod. And I enable auto registration because that enables any machine I spin up later to um, identify itself as part of this domain. And so, so this setting enables automatic creation of DNS records in this private DNS zone for virtual machines connected to the network, so it's easier. Uh, and so you go ahead here and do okay and that goes goes there and creates your 
uh, virtual network link and I can link that as well to anything else that I want to link to uh, but for the sake of this uh, um, tutorial you create your private DNS zone give it a name uh, you create a virtual link so you link it to uh, the VNets uh, that you've built and they would auto register if you choose to check the Mac and um, be able to use DNS to resolve names and what have you so I hope this has been a quick one for you and it's helpful for you um, so from the top again um, go home private DNS uh, go add type your DNS name put in your resource group DNS name click next tag tax review create and that's done so you come back and your DNS is live and available you click on virtual link and it's completed I've added this VNet into the DNS um, now one thing that I have to mention to you is you can add new records on here so this supports all uh, the top uh, record types C names and host names and what have you here so you can set your own records as you, t as you want and um, it helps a lot so Microsoft provides this platform and makes life easier for you to take care of your resources in the cloud so thank you for viewing and I'll put some links in for you to follow to create a DNS and the best advice from Microsoft even as you do that. Alright, see you on the next one.